So uh, this is going to be a thermochemistry problem where what we're trying to do is determine what the uh, melting point is for ammonia, right? And so what we're given is the enthalpy of fusion of ammonia, right? So delta H of fusion for ammonia is equal to 5.65 kilojoules per mole, right? We're also given the delta uh, uh, S of fusion, right? The entropy of fusion. And so what that is equal to is 28.9 joules per Kelvin per mole in this case, right? And so what we're trying to find out is essentially, right, the temperature of fusion. And so the way that we could do this is simply by using the Gibbs free energy equation. So if we have delta G, right, we know that that's going to be equal to negative, or sorry, is going to be equal to delta H minus T delta S. So if we go through, right, and we simply state, right, that the, the, the point, like the melting point is when delta G is equal to zero, right, because that's when you're going to have that phase transition. So if we set that equal to zero and we just rearrange everything, right, what we get is T delta S is equal to delta H. We can rearrange this one more, right? We just simply divide everything by delta S. So what we get is T is equal to delta H over delta S, right? And so that should then give us the temperature at which, uh, you know, delta G is equal to zero, which should be the melting point in this case right here. So since we have those values, right? So the T is gonna be equal to, um, and so one thing to point out, right? Delta H enthalpies are typically given in kilojoules, whereas entropies are typically given in joules. So we wanna make sure that we convert that delta H effusion first into joules uh, per mole, right? So that's just simply gonna be 5,650 joules per mole. And so that's the value we're going to use, right? So 5,650 joules per mole over 28.9 joules per Kelvin per mole, right? So the joules cancel, the moles cancel. We'll only end up with Kelvin then coming up on top. So we do all that. We plug it all in. And what we get is, let me just look at my notes to make it easier for myself, 196 Kelvin, right? So that's going to be the temperature of fusion in this case. And that's the approach that you use, right? So you just simply rearrange delta G.